Kia ora. I'm Daniel Stamp from Ultimate Performance Mental Skills Coaching. It gives me great pleasure to bring you your next video for your Mental Skills Monday session. My little talk to you today is going to be about emotional self-awareness. And I know Dave in a previous video covered self-awareness, focusing on behaviours, but I really want to turn your attention to your emotions. And I'm going to specifically give some focus to coaches through this little video. What we know is that our positive or our negative emotions have a massive influence on our negative or positive behaviours. And the relationship is quite simple. If we experience a negative emotion, it's likely to lead to a negative behaviour and vice versa. A positive emotion is likely to influence a positive behaviour. So we need to become very emotionally self-aware. What emotions do you experience as a coach? Is it uncertainty, confusion, frustration, anger, disappointment? Is it excitement, thrill, happiness, joy? If we can actually know the emotions that we're experiencing, at the time we're experiencing them, we are emotionally self-aware. So we must tune in to our true feelings and sensations as we're experiencing them to label those emotions. Now, what I'd like you to do is a little task where you write down a list of all the emotions you know you personally experience, perhaps during this uncertain time that we're in, but also in those times when you know you're coaching. The next part of the task is the important part, and this leads us to emotional self-management techniques, which I'm gonna talk about more in other videos. But next to your emotions on your list, I would like you to write down what you believe leads to those emotions. These are your triggers. These are the things that cause the emotions to happen. And again, if we are emotionally self-aware, we will understand the things that lead to our positive or negative emotions. So a list of emotions, and then next to those emotions, the things that occur to lead to those emotions. If we can do that to start, then we have done very well in becoming emotionally self-aware and then we can really start to develop our emotional self-management techniques to take care of those negative emotions that lead to negative behaviours. Hope you enjoyed that quick video. Tune in for more Mental Skills Mondays and I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.